Letheline. I need to ask you for a favor. I thought the Arulin home would be the last thing I needed, but the Alluvian still won't work. I think... I think I have to go back to the... spirit that helped me at the start of all this. Why do you think this demon will help? He knows about the mirror. I don't know how much. He won't tell me everything, and it's dangerous to trust. He said he witnessed its forging. He told me how to cleanse it of its corruption. He must know how to make it work. What do you mean, it doesn't work? Well, look at it! Do you think it's supposed to just sit there and show nothing at all? I can feel the power in it, but it's like it's asleep. I can't seem to wake it. Summoning a demon can't possibly be the only way to fix the mirror. Someone else must know something. The Alluvian was lost before Arlathan fell. The only creatures who would know anything about it are in the Fade. I've called to the spirit, but he doesn't seem to hear. He was sealed in an artifact on Sundermount. I have to look for him there. But if things go wrong, if he possesses me, I need you to strike me down. You would risk becoming an abomination for this mirror. How is it worth that? Marvin, Hun, you of all people should understand. I would gladly sacrifice my life to help my people. There's no one else I trust. Please, Marvin, Hun. I don't want to go into this alone. Go to Marathari. Maybe there's an alternative to summoning the demon. The Keeper would never help me. Why do you think I had to find the demon in the first place? The whole clan has moved on by now anyway. You'll never find her. Is that music? Where is that coming from? I don't hear anything. I don't like this. Not going to happen. <sighs> I guess the buyer wasn't kidding. It's not supposed to do that, is it? that voice coming from what voice I can barely hear it I wish I could make out the words I can't do that hello is there a ghost would you stop that please we're getting closer. I can feel it, Hawk. Look at this. My brother's junk was left here. You wouldn't know it, but Bartrand was a sentimentalist. This came from our estate in Orzammar. When I was seven, I knocked over one of Mother's plates and broke it. <laughs> My brother yelled at me for an hour. This was made by the artisans of House Saldras. 
The clay was from the Adrosatuna River, which never sees the sun. He was that upset over a dish. I don't think it was a dish to Bartrand. That stupid plate was the whole city of Orzammar to him. Blessed Andraste. This isn't being caused by some random artifact. The idol is still in the house, Hawk. It has to be. Tell me you heard that talk. I did. You know, that didn't make me feel better. I don't think I can do that. Out of here before it comes back. Where's the idol? What idol? Don't waste my time with your lies. Tell me where it is. Take it easy, Varric. She's telling us what she can. She's hiding something, Hawk. Don't lie to me. I know it's here. You must have found it. I swear. I don't know anything about an idol. Please. Maker, no. It's starting again!
piece of the idol. No, I should have known Bartrand would lie to me. Of course he'd keep a piece of the statue for himself. Think of what we could do with this. Varric, you've been acting strangely since we arrived. I don't think you want to keep that shard. I know you're just trying to look out for me, Hawk. But I can handle this. It's not the whole idol. It's just a sliver. I need this thing. Six years of my life have gone into this. The shard is my only hope of curing Bartrand. It's my only chance to set any of this right. Listen to yourself, Varric. It's already controlling you. You have to let it go. You're not listening, Hawk. I know I can handle this shard. I'm worried, Varric. You're beginning to sound exactly like Bartrand. Fine. I don't really want to argue about this anyway. Take it. It's your problem now. Maybe Enchantment Boy can dispose of the thing for you. Let's go. I think I could use some air. Guild ledgers. Uh, dwarves fighting over whose ancestors were the dwarfiest, whose gold is the shiniest. I never understood how he could stand it. Five minutes with them, and I need a strong drink. You inherited the family businesses, didn't you? I did. And I drink a lot more now than I used to. Bartrand wagered everything on the expedition. Everything for the chance to escape the guild. Make enough money, and the guild doesn't matter anymore. You're free. Damnation. Let's keep going. Don't make eye contact with the dwarf merchants here. I've skipped the last five guild meetings. Though the lands suffer a thousand wrongs, the Maker yet notices the smallest of deeds. Good day to you. Have you located any Canari blades? This is what I found. Do you require gold for this task? It's customary. Very well. You can do something with this sandal. Is that lyrium? I've never seen anything like that. It's dangerous. Varric suggested Sandal might be able to dispose of it. I think my boy can do better than that. Ooh, enchantment.
Ah, the champion of Kirkwall. Your reputation precedes you. Forgive me. I should introduce myself properly. My name is Nancio Caldera Lagos. I am a noble from the beautiful country of Antiva. Is there something I can help you with? I've come to you in search of aid. An elven assassin I have been chasing is loose in the area. Unfortunately, he's hidden himself among the local Dalish, no doubt playing on their shared heritage. He's a master manipulator who will endanger even his own kind to ensure his survival. You don't seem the type to hunt assassins. Why are you after him? At first, it was merely a duty to Antiva. But after losing so many good men to him, it became personal. He's nothing but a murderer, a thief, and a liar. Your assassin is no fool. I doubt the Dalish would hand a fellow elf over to you, murderer or no. Ah, so you see my problem. Where that elf goes, death follows. He must be captured quickly. I've heard of your dealings with the Dalish. I was hoping you could go where my men could not. Find out where the assassin is hiding, and apprehend him. I'll see what I can do. One of the Dalish, a woman named Variel, is a friend of his. I suggest speaking with her first. We won't be here when you get back. We got a campsite outside the city. Look for us there. If it isn't the champion of Kirkwall, the honor is all mine. Captain? There are so many... things. I don't even know what any of it is. Catastrophe has struck, partner. We are ruined. Ruined! Don't panic. Tell me what happened. A guard came back from the boon pit, half-wrecked, with a dozen mangled bodies. The horse pulling the cart was the only survivor, and it does not speak. Town full of rotten mages, and not one can get answers from a horse. I'll see what's going on. Until then, try to stay calm. I knew I could depend on you, just like old times, partner. Quality up. The best outside of Orzammar.
Calling from here to Antiva. You've had luck on your travels? We can enter the sewers from here to look for the cellar portray. Are you ready? Let's go. Hold your nose. We'll have to get pretty close for me to tell what we're looking at. I know it isn't my place to criticize, but... Are you sure about Meryl? She acts sweet, but she'll never pick you over her demon. Meryl loves me. Keep your illusions, then. Maker knows I won't be the one to change them. This is it. The Cella Petre should have formed right under here. Oh, I don't want to touch that. Let's see if we can find a few more deposits.
Let's see if we can find a few more deposits. Let's see if we can find a few more deposits. to go. Let's see if we can find a few more deposits. Should be plenty. Thank the maker. We still need the Drake Stone from the Bone Pit.
I suppose you're just thrilled how the Knight Commander's basically stepped into the Viscount's seat. She can't stall the process forever. It's not her place. Leaving the Viscount's seat empty will just tempt people to fight for it. It will cause more trouble than it prevents. Well, you've got a brain in there after all. I was convinced that headband was to keep it from falling out. I removed another bunch of lowlifes. And many are grateful as always. I take my leave. Enjoy, champion. Courtesy of the friends of Red Jenny. Listen, Hawk. I don't know what came over me back there in Bartrand's house. I'm glad you're watching my back. You had me worried there. You never have to worry about me, Hawk. What are you having? Edwina, let's get a couple of drinks here. Hawk? Ugh. This is awkward. Whatever it is, I'll hear you out, Barrick. Baker, I hate it when you're reasonable. Call me a filthy nug licker once in a while, for pity's sake. Look, I just want to say... It has been an honor knowing you. You're a good friend, Barrick. I know. It's hard to imagine what you'd do without me. You know it's six years today. Six years since I found you dragging your tail out of Bartrand's office. <laughs> Here's to whatever comes next. We still need the Drake Stone from the Bone Pit. I don't get here as often as I should, even as captain. 